Welcome back. For today's video, we are going to be scanning a uh, screw retained zirconia crown using a scan body. Uh, for those of you that don't know what a scan body is, this is what it looks like right here with the metal interface. Uh, now, these scan bodies, they're basically they're just transfer copings, is what they are. They work exactly the same way. They all look the same, but the uh, the interface is all different. It all fits into the implant like they're supposed to, just like a transfer coping was. So there's only going to be one scan body fits one certain implant size and implant system. So it's not like a universal scan body for everybody. Uh, so we'll go ahead and get started here. And, and we're doing number three screw retained. Atomic Conia, come down here, and I'll go over another video of what manual positioning is. Uh, but we're going to screw retain it, we're going to scan the gingiva. Okay. Uh, one of the things that I like to do is go ahead and, and to scan the gingiva first. That way, instead of pulling it out and putting it back in and having to trim it to make sure it seats down all the way onto the model, uh, it just speeds up the process a little bit. One thing on the Medit software that you want to change is you want to switch this over to scan um, the scan body separate. Um, if you scan them together, then uh, chances are you're not going to be able to scan the uh, the contact area, the adjacent teeth, and uh, it'll work if you're just doing custom abutment because contact areas don't matter. But screw retain, switch this over to separate and uh, you'll be fine. Oh, met it. I can switch it over to scan gingiva first. Go ahead and get that started. While I'm waiting, I'll go ahead and clamp the closing model. Um, you can use scan spray on the, uh, on the gingiva, but 99% of the times it's not uh, necessary. The only way you would need to scan it is if uh, the gingiva is really shiny. Uh, scanners don't typically like shiny objects. The light doesn't reflect properly and uh, you don't you won't get a good scan. So those of you asking which scan spray I use, use this. This stuff works the best. It's the cheapest and it lasts the longest. Uh, you get it on Amazon. I don't remember how much I paid for it, but I always keep like three or four of these around. Um, it'll last a long time, uh, and uh, again, it's cheap. You know, buying it from some dental company, paying an outrageous amount. All right, Let's go to switch. So switching to the opposing, and while that's scanning, go ahead and just take the end of it out. go um, you could stop it from here again add your own scans it'd probably be faster but if you're doing other things like setting up the next next job to scan then uh, it's not a big deal all right so now we'll do without the scan body go back up here to the base and then next we will go ahead and do um, the scan body we'll you know, just screw it into place using the right driver and you'll be good to go and I'll show you how to orient orientate the scan body with the implant library and uh, show you how to design a proper emergence profile and all that stuff. Again, check to make sure your contacts get scanned properly. And I can just stop it here and oh, I'll have one scan left. Alright. Shift 
right click on the mouse to slide it over or just right click on the mouse to rotate we'll add in a scan right here close up that hole okay and now we will scan the scan body down and make sure it's seated properly um, if you can help it and this isn't an ideal situation but try to get the flat sides coming out of the, the buckle side as best you can or lingual side if you don't want the flat sides to be in the proximal area it's tougher for the scanner to pick it up and those are where you those are the most important sides are the flat sides so that you can orientate the scan by properly in the software Um, in the next video, I can show you guys how to um, get an intraoral scan with a scan body uh, and import it into your uh, software. Um, and as always, any questions, comment down below. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, it'll help uh, get higher up on the, the YouTube uh, views list. Um, this software does a ton of scans for the scan body, so and it, it's not really necessary. If you want to speed it up, go ahead and just add your own in. Just stop it and then add scan. Add over here. This hole doesn't matter. It's this flat surface right here and over here and we've got plenty of data here to go ahead and orient it so now we can just go ahead and scan the bite take the scan body out because oftentimes when you try to scan with the scan body in there the bite won't close down all the way so let's go ahead and take it out and then we're bang go always fly around everywhere. Never find them. Okay. That's on there. Scan body back in the box so we don't lose them. Back in my tackle box. Okay. Um, last thing we gotta do is align everything up. As soon as it gets done taking the bite. That's enough information for a bite. I'm just going to go ahead and stop it, speed it along a little bit. Okay, we got speckle here for scan body, so that's good. Gingiva, and these usually line up automatically by themselves. Uh, bite here, one point here, one point here. Good. And lower, a little hit snap because it's already pretty close and it snaps into place. Last, we'll go ahead and edit. Again, highlight everything that you want to keep. And crop. And now we will merge everything together. And while we wait, Um, let me know what other videos you guys want to want to see. I'm got a few ideas here and there, but if there's anything that's uh, troubling you, need help on specific case you need help on. Let me know. I'll uh, try to help out as best I can. Turn this off. All right. First thing is to orientate the scan body. Choose the library. This one is a true abutment. It's what the doctor ordered. Uh, Astra EV. 
5.4, um, 5.5 millimeter height for the tie base. This red point right here, try to get it right here. Match, and oftentimes a lot of these things matches pretty well. It's not perfect. Um, change the height of where it reads the data to. And there you go. And that'll work. Uh, now we're going to um, define the emergence profile. Just four points, five points, whatever. Uh, pretty simple. Uh, now we're going to place a tooth here. So let's place a tooth exactly where we want. Within, keep in mind of where the implant is. Always going to be a little bit smaller. Emergence profile. So you've got your tooth here with the gingiva. What I like to do is you see this little tooth margin right here. Kind of like to use that as my guide of where I'm going to place my emergence profile. Um, this is kind of a big one, but. The doctor knows what he's doing and he knows how to displace tissue, then it becomes a much more desirable result for your patient. Um, that's, that's why we do these things. Make it really nice for the patient. Okay, um, now we're going to angle this, bottom angle first, then the top angle. Okay, uh, now you see we want a nice even smooth, we want all these like perky jerky movements so what I like to do is hold down the control, yeah control, click on the pink button, all three of them will come unattached. If it's pink it's it automatically attached to the tissue, green it's not, it's not attached to the tissue and uh, you can kind of move things a little bit easier and make it a little nicer or even flowed. Especially right here. Okay. Um, screw retain zirconia. Since it's all one piece, it's all going to be zirconia from here down to here. We don't want this big fat little lip right here. Come to advanced. Make this zero. Um, Give the nice crisp margin line and it's not going to chip or anything like that because it's all one piece of zirconia and you'll see at the end um, go ahead and fix this okay now let's just check everything on the tissue okay looks pretty good bring this one down a hair that one's good we can bring this up a little bit okay this one All right, looks pretty good. Put this back, and now the crown will be adapted to this margin that we created. All right, so let's smooth around. Smooth around here. We get rid of this. We don't need that anymore. Make so it's nice, clean. See now, if I hadn't made that thing zero, this margin line there would be like this big old lip right here. And you want to just go ahead and get rid of that. And then just design your tooth like you would normally design any other crown. Okay, uh, let's add a 
react a little bit. Get a little bit more. Um, okay. Section. Let's just make sure. Let's cut a little bit of this out a little too far. Alright, cuss tips look good. A little too sharp. Alright. Cut occlusion. Go to articulator. Line it up on the point. Again, if you guys don't have a 3D mouse, um, highly, highly recommend it. It'll speed up process and not burn you out so much. Um, it's a little tricky at first, but you'll get the hang of it in no time. It's really not that hard. Just imagine the little joystick in your hand as the actual object that you're moving around, and you'll be good to go. Um, this is where the new cutter tool using the Matera um, really is handy, especially on these screw retain cases. Um, I'll show you here in a second. Let's drop this down. All right, let's these sharp angles. Knock these out. Okay. Drop down. Okay, and then we'll cut and do contact. Nice broad contact area. And then lastly, what we definitely don't want is in the undercuts with the screw channel. Because there's only one way these things can go in. So you can move these left and right up here from the occlusive load, but you cannot rotate them here. Especially when you're doing screw chain. Everything's lined up already with this screw channel. So you don't want to change that, otherwise the crown won't fit. Contact will be too tight. So let's go ahead and knock out these undercuts. There's not a whole lot of undercut here. Alright, that's all gone. Cut. Smooth it all out. Okay. Go. And next step, X K okay, will cut the hole in it. Boom. Word and save. Boom. And you're done. Um, comments, questions, concerns, comment down below. Hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe. Turn on notifications for the next videos. Uh, I'll see you guys next time.